What is my background? I was raised in England by a French mother and Greek father. I moved to Paris in my early 20s and started painting and exhibiting work during a period of hospitalisation and ill health. I returned to London to study fine art at Central St Martins. Subsequently, I became involved in the Women's Art Library, researching feminist performance artists of the 1970s and creating my own performances. I went on to study an MA in Art History at the Courtauld Institute of Art. Am I inspired by other artists and if so, who and why? I'm inspired by the historical breadth of female artists from 17th century Baroque painter Artemisia Gentileschi to contemporary photographer Anna Gaskell. For my MA dissertation, I explored the exclusion of women artists from art history and academic training. I based my dissertation on the book A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf, in which she says that as women, we think back through our mothers. Thus, my inspiration follows this imperative of creating dialogues and engaging with women artists, both past and present. If I had to describe my work in one sentence, what would it be? My work draws from a dialogue between my own personal experiences, psychoanalysis, and my studies of art history and feminism. Uh, can I say a bit about my process? I usually come across a narrative or image that in some way resonates with my own stories. I then find a background to use and using my performance stills and other images sourced from different media I create a collage to work from. I plan the composition using the golden rule. I then do a small study of the piece in burnt umber acrylic. Having planned my painting out I scale up and get a made to measure canvas. I begin by priming the canvas in burnt umber and measure a grid to transfer my image to scale. The stages are then as follows. Charcoal drawing stage, drawing in burnt umber oil paint, the dead painting which is monochrome oil painting followed by the first painting stage, second painting stage and the glaze. I follow the fat over lean rule for this process. Because I'm predominantly self-taught, my early large paintings took me up to a year and a half as I would do numerous layers of glaze until I was happy. Now they take me about three to six months. Uh, do I keep track of trends in the art market, art world, and do they influence me? Whilst I keep track of trends in the art market and art world, they do not influence my work. I found that I've been ahead of the trends in both my engagement with painting, feminism, and performance art. I always remain true to myself. In these challenging times, how has the current situation with coronavirus impacted on my practice? Um, I suffer from an illness, which means over the years I've had to constantly adapt my practice. I've learnt to work within the constraints of my circumstances and ensure that I continue my practice no, model, no matter what. The main impact is being unable to get to my studio and no longer be on my own. I've also had to leave a painting in progress. I'm also restricted in scale in the medium I use at home. I thus adapt to draw, use watercolour and acrylic. Over the years I've also built up my own women's art library so I have plenty of reading and research material. Given the current situation in the world I also feel compelled to create politically motivated works and I'm looking at the absurdity and insanity of the fashion world and the juxtaposition with this with the reality of the NHS and people suffering around the world. Are there any exciting plans or projects in the pipeline? Um, I'm currently at the early stage of painting that references my time living in Paris. I was meant to be going to Paris to meet with the curator and head of collections at the Musée d'Art et d'Histoire de l'Hôpital Saint-Anne to donate a painting to their collection. So I look forward to doing this in the future. Best exhibition in the last year. Um, I really enjoyed Bert Morisot at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. A quote that has inspired me or could inspire others. Um, I can't pronounce it in Latin, but it translates as Don't let the bastards grind you down from the handmaid's tale and also to thine self be true. Favourite artwork, Judith Beheading Holofernes by Artemisia Gentileschi. Uh, this means a lot to me because Artemisia is the artist that really resonates with my work. In 2002, I began planning paintings inspired by her works and collecting books on her. I went on to undertake an MA in Art History in 2007, and in order to combine my practice with my theoretical studies, I went to Florence to study the painting technique of Caravaggio. I took this opportunity to seek out all the works of Artemisia. 
It was during this time that I saw Judith beheading Holophanes in the Uvitsi. The work stood out, not only for the virtuosity in painting, but also the subject matter and the fact that it was a historically themed painting created by a female artist. Following the classical training model of the academy in which the copy was part of the artist's training, I spent over a year doing a copy of Artemisia's beheading. Favourite book, uh, too many to mention, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, Hour of the Star by Clarice Lispector, Gothic Tales, Elizabeth Gaskell, Heart of Darkness, Joseph Conrad, Herland and the Yellow War Paper, Charlotte Perkins Gilman, Medea, Crystal Wolfe, Woman Who Run With The Wolves, Clarissa Pinkola Estes, Newly Born Women, Woman by Hélène Sizou, and my theoretical books on psychoanalysis and feminism. Favourite film, The Red Shoes. Uh, if I had to pick one piece of my work which has meant the most to me, which would it be and why? Massacre of the Mad Women, because I feel this encapsulates everything that is relevant to my practice and shows the most development from my early stages, incorporating both the personal and the political.